welcome back to my channel, Brian the Floridian. So today is January 13th, Monday. So I usually do a shave on the weekends or midweek, but I'm gonna change it up a little bit. So I'm doing one today because I missed doing a shave this past weekend. And also today is National Championship Day between LSU and Clemson. So definitely check that game out tonight. I'll probably post this video later on tonight, so probably be going, this video probably, will probably be going after the game, but either way, hope the better team wins. But anyway, I'm going to be doing a shave. Today is really warm in Florida, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be doing a shave with a soap that I've never done, done before on video, and I'm going to be doing a review on, which is this guy here. This is called Summer Solstice, and this was made by Katie's Bubbles for the South Florida Wet Shavers meetup last year in June 29th, 2019. So, pretty nice summer scent. I'm excited about using this. I probably use it probably maybe a handful of times, but man, got a great experience from using this soap. So I'm using this soap here for my shave. And I'm gonna be using one of my favorite razors I haven't used in a while on video, which is my Razor Rock um, Self Lubricating Open Comb, or S-L-O-C. So it's really, really beautiful razor. It's got the open comb design top cap and bottom cap right here and the barber popper pull handle. So the handle itself is stainless steel and I believe the top and bottom cap are zinc alloy or chrome zinc alloy. So not really stainless steel, but man, this combination works great for a shave. So I'll be using this razor here for my shave gonna be using a blade that I received last year that I still have. Great blade, Gillette Goal. Don't, know, don't, don't, don't really know too much about these blades, but man, these work great though. I really like these blades. So I'm gonna try to hopefully purchase, purchase more of these probably in the future, but they're hard to find though. I think maybe I can probably find these on eBay or hopefully somewhere, but man, these are nice blades. So I'll be using this blade here. And for my brush, I'm going to be using a new brush also, which I recently purchased over the Christmas holiday. So this is the new brush I'll be using. This is my Omega Bore. I believe the model is 198. It's, it's a pretty long handle there. It's got the long handle, uh, barbershop style handle. And I believe the loft is uh, 65 millimeters and the knot is 27 millimeters. So pretty, pretty decent sized brush. And this is supposedly this supposedly the same knot as the Pro 49 from what I from, my, from what you know from what I read before I purchased it. So definitely a big bore knot. So I'll be excited about using this brush. Just got this in the mail recently during my Christmas break. So let me go lather this up. But let me go ahead and soak this brush and let me go wash my face, guys. Get about two days worth of growth, like I said. So really, really excited about this shave. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got my brush loaded up with the uh, Summer Solstice and soaked, and got the face fully hydrated. So let's go ahead and do that first pass here and the first face lather. And this is a huge, huge bore knot, so. So essentially, this is a Pro 49, or I wanna say the Pro 49, yeah, 48, 49, Omega bore knot, the professional knot, on just a longer handle here, so. So I had this brush for about a week, and I'm slowly breaking it in. So normally, what my bore brushes, what I usually do is, to break them in, I usually soak them. I Basically, what, what I try to do is use them as much as I can for the first two weeks. But overnight, I usually lather the brush up with soap and just let it sit there overnight and rinse it out in the morning. And I do this process probably for about two weeks or so to help, to help break this bore knot in. One of my friends from South Florida Witch Shavers, uh, Tim Zub, showed me or told me this is the best way to break a bore knot in. And I couldn't agree more because I, I did that same thing with my sterling bore 
and now it's just super, super soft. It's got the split hair, so it's definitely, definitely broken in really nicely. Just a great way to break, break in a board brush. I know some people have their ways of breaking in a board brush, whether it's, whether it's leaving, you know, leaving it, freezing it overnight in a, in a refrigerator or freezer, or Or, oh, I'm trying to think what other ways they do it. Uh, I've seen people also just let it soak for days in water. But, yeah, you know, I mean, best, I mean, the best way that I've found is doing that, just, you know, just doing that, just let it, you know, soak it, you know, loading up the brush with soap, let it sit there overnight, rinse it out the next morning, and do that for about a period of two weeks. And, that will break in the brush really nicely. And speaking of nicely, this this face leather is going well, very nicely also. Really nice lather here from the summer solstice from Kitty's Bubbles. All right, that should be a good nice lather to start with. Oops. All right, so let me get the uh, Razor Rock SLOC razor to self lubricating up in comb and do that first pass with the grain. And lots of feedback right away with this razor. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite razors to use. It's fairly inexpensive. I think it's like still about $16.99 on, on Italian Barber, the website. But you get the uh, zinc alloy head and a choice of, I believe still, the, the stainless steel handles. I believe they have the bulldog handle, the barber pole handle, the radio knob handle they have also there. Um, another handle they have, I want to say it's a bamboo handle, but still a great value for uh, this razor, but man, this does shave really, really, really nicely. And the premise is the open teeth, the open comb, and these little slots here are supposed to, uh, you know, provide extra, you know, are supposed to trap the lather and provide extra lubrication when you when you do each stroke of the razor when, you, when you're shaving with it, so. So it kind of traps the lather in the teeth and these little slots to keep lubricating each, your face with each stroke, so very, very nice. As you tell, look at the lather being trapped right there in, his, in the teeth there. And this is one of my favorite blades to use, that Gillette Gold is a really great blade. I can't remember where I got them from, but man, someone, I think someone gave me, gave me a pack of these blades and I used about two of them already. So this is my third blade from the pack. Got about two more to go, but man, I love these blades. So I'm gonna have to look for these blades. Hopefully they'll have them on Amazon or eBay or somewhere I can find them. Cause they're a great, great blade. Pretty smooth blade. So the cool, the cool thing about this design is, is that you, you can do, um, you can basically do some blade buffing, go over a certain area a few times without without irritating your skin because with this design is that lubrication actually keeps your keeps the blade uh, keeps the blade from cutting your cutting your face, so providing extra lubrication. So great, great design, great touch, and I will let me go ahead and rinse my face, guys. And no nicks at all whatsoever. Oh, actually, actually one right there. Darn it. This is a, 
I had a cut here recently and I just keep hitting it sometimes, but other than that, great, great first pass. Let me go to my face, be right back. All right guys, back to my second pass. Got plenty of lather left on the brush here. And I just love, love this handle by the way. Look at that nice little chrome accent right there with this long black handle. So very, very nice hefty handle here. Pretty, pretty long handle too, too by the way. So great handle for grabbing onto and doing a nice face lather here. Yeah, so this is like week one of breaking this brush in and so far it's getting soft. A little bit softer than when I got when I first got it. And a little bit more softer too. Alright, that should be good for a second pass. So hope, hope you guys are having a good week so far. Hope you guys had a good weekend. It is warm here in Florida. It is probably, I think yesterday we had to be at least 85. Pretty warm. So this soap is really fitting for right now, even though it's not quite summer, but it feels like summer in Florida. All right, let me go do that. Cross the grain right here. Yeah, I don't know how I cut myself the other day. I, I, I just noticed that I had a weeper right here from a previous shave, and I don't know how I got that up here. Kind of weird. But I'm trying to steer clear of that area right there if I can. And this soap is amazingly slick. Not really sure if it's the soap or the razor. Man, this combination is nice and slick. So the razor glide is very, very easy with this soap and this razor design. Definitely one of my favorite razors to use. And I believe this is based off of the one of the old designs, the King Cut. I think was it the King? Could be wrong. The King Cutter, I believe, razor from back in the early part of uh, last century. But man, it's it's one of those razors that didn't last very long. But definitely a good. Definitely engineered right though. Man, this does do a great job of lubricating your face with the lather. Go underneath the gills here one more time. Yeah, so I had the I had the uh, Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements version of this razor, the uh, double open comb, and I found that really too mild for my face, but this is just the right sweet spot. This is, this is a little more aggressive than that razor was, and with the handle, with the heavier handle, just, just the right balance for doing a great shave. So probably about medium, I'd say medium aggressive in terms of aggressive for a razor, but just a smooth razor to use. I mean, just really hard to cut yourself with this razor. And just a smooth shaver. So this would be probably great for a newbie or even an experienced, even really an experienced shaver who wants a quick shave. This would be a great razor for that. But other, nonetheless, just one of my favorite razors to use. Great value. And so far, great shave. All right, guys, let me rinse my face, guys. And I'll be back for the final pass. All right, guys, back for my final pass here. Anyway, the soap, the soap scent is really, really definitely unique. Definitely get that floral and that fruity type scent. Um, I smell a little bit of cinnamon in the scent, but let me read you the ingredient list because it's kind of 
a little bit complex, but I got this from the website. And by the way, they do sell the soap on West Coast Shaving, so definitely check it out. They have the soap and the aftershave on there, so look for South Florida Wet Shavers or SFWS, and you will find the soap on there. But anyway, it's they describe the ingredients as sweet citrus notes of bergamot and watermelon blend into a green heart of basil and geranium on a base of sandalwood, aldehydes, cashmere, and Hedoin, I can't even understand that word. Hedoin, H E D I O N E. So it's definitely a summer scent. Very, very complex, but very, very nice. Just a nice, easygoing scent. It's, it's, it's probably the best way to describe it is probably like imagining sitting on the beach drinking a cocktail and you have that kind of scent of the ocean in the cocktail. That's what it smells like to me. But great great i love this sub great scent and it does hit it on the head for being a summer scent hit the nail on the head for that so let me do that final pass here final uh face leather here so i'll be going against the grain so this knot is a little bit floppy for me so but definitely not bad for a boar knot. I think the sterling knot has a little more backbone than this does in my smoke knots, but but in terms of softness, this is really, really soft. Should be good for the last pass here. Yeah, the loft on this is 65 millimeters, so it's definitely a longer, longer knot. So that's where you get the, uh, that's where this, the floppiness comes into play. But probably a good brush for lathering up creams if you want to do a, a cream lather shave, but not too bad for face on there with soaps. All right, let me go do that first. Uh, do that last against the grain pass here. Yeah, this razor is so smooth. Do we do a little bit of buffing right here? Yeah, I'm not sure if it's a soap or the razor, but man, the slickness is off the charts. Probably a little bit of a both, because Katie's Bubbles I used before, and they do have like a lot of slickness in their soaps. And plenty of good lather too, when you when you lather when you lather the soaps up. Yeah, I've been seeing those Yaki razor heads come out with the same type of uh, top and bottom cap. And some people say it's the same razor as this, but... If it is, it's definitely a good razor. Well, man, you can't beat 16 bucks for this razor. Or even 17 bucks. Great, I mean, stainless steel handle and a nice, nice shaving head. Just a great, great value. All right, looks like I need to put a little more water on that, but I'm down to my first, last pass, so. Let me go hit this little area underneath the gills here one more last time. So 
So sense strength is probably about a 7 on a scale from 0 to 10. Not too strong, but man, it is there. Definitely, definitely smell the uh, scent's pretty, pretty, pretty decent as you're shaving. So definitely not a mild soap while in scent strength. I'll leave a list of the ingredient lists in my description below, so definitely check that out. But pretty, pretty decent um, ingredient list. And I have it right here in front of me, which is stearic acid, water, coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, shea butter, fragrance, sodium hydroxide, jojoba oil, which is great, I hear, for post-shave feel, uh, selenium lactate, and glycerin. So pretty nice little list of ingredients for the soap. And if you want to see those ingredient lists, look in my description. I'll have them below there. But nice, nice. Pretty nice formula for a nice shave. All right, guys, let me rinse my face, guys. And no nicks, and this one stopped bleeding, so that's a plus. And I'll be right back for the post shave. All right, guys, back for my post shave. So I'll be using the aftershave that came with the soap, the set, which is a summer solstice by uh, Katie's Bubbles, made for South Florida wet shavers June 29th, meet up from last year. So, nice looking bottle, by the way. Look at the artwork on that bottle. Just really nice. The label itself is pretty cool. And this is exactly what the soap smells like. Sitting on the beach, sipping a cocktail with the warm, warm air, warm beach right there in your face. That's what it smells like. So definitely, let me go ahead and put this on my face here. And smells really, really nice. Smells fabulous, by the way. All right. Yeah, I get that watermelon. I get that fruity scent from this. A uh, little bit of uh, I did, did I definitely do smell a little sandalwood in this in the scent, but definitely, definitely get that. Just that warm. Just that cocktail type scent, that summer scent, like the lady describes. That's I definitely get that vibe with this with this soap, this scent. But man, it feels really nice. Post shave is really really nice, especially on the soap. But man, feeling the aftershave is feeling really really pleasant also. All right, guys, that's my shave. My summer in the middle of winter in Florida. Great stuff. So I use this Summer Solstice by Case Bubbles. So definitely check it out if you like the scent. If you, this sounds interesting to you, go to West Coast Shaving because it's on their website right now. And I believe you can get this and the other shave splash right now on their website. And just type in uh, South Florida Wet Shavers or SFWS. And this should come up by the way. So the razor I used was my Self Lubricating Open Comb Razor from Razor Rock. Just a great, great razor. Look at that beauty. Look at that beautiful razor. Just really, really nice looking. It's just a piece of artwork almost by looking at it. So $16.99, I believe, on Italian Barber. Check them out. Great, great razor. Very, very smooth shaver. And first use blade I used was a Gillette Gold. And I'm a fan of these blades. I really like these blades. Really, really smooth and sharp. And very, very, work, these work very well in that razor I just used. So definitely, definitely a very underrated, underrated blade. And one blade you don't really see too much, but definitely worth trying. So I wanna, I'll, I'll be looking forward to getting more of these blades. And I got my Omega 198 model bore brush. And look at the, look at the, look at the loft on this brush. Just the, uh, just a knot is huge, so definitely the Pro 49 knot is on this on this brush. Beautiful looking handle with the black with the chrome accent right there, and this is breaking in very nicely. And I can tell right now it's getting softer as I keep breaking it in. So another week of breaking it in, this, this should be nice and ready to go with the split hairs up here. But man, and I haven't had too much too much hair shedding from this brush, so that's a nice touch and not much animal smell when I received this, so very, very, very nice touch too also. So definitely, definitely a great brush to get. 
I think I got this on Amazon for about maybe 13 bucks. It was pretty pretty reasonable price, pretty cheap. So it's got the Omega little engraving right there. You guys can barely see that, but it's there. So just a nice looking brush. And that's my shave, guys. And I hope you guys have a good week. It is Monday. And don't forget the game is on tonight, so check it out. I don't know what fan you are, but I'm going for LSU. <laughs> Go Tigers. But anyway, take care, guys. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.